Hello, this is Father Daniel Kim, Marino Missioner, and welcome to our daily Gospel reading and reflection. Today's Gospel reading is according to St. Mark, chapter 7, verses 1 to 13. When the Pharisees with some scribes who had come from Jerusalem gathered around Jesus, they observed that some of his disciples ate their meals with unclean, that is, unwashed hands. For the Pharisees, and in fact all Jews, do not eat without carefully washing their hands, keeping the tradition of the elders. And on coming from the marketplace, they do not eat without purifying themselves. And there are many other things that they have traditionally observed, the purification of cups and jugs and kettles and beds. So the Pharisees and scribes questioned him, Why do your disciples not follow the tradition of the elders, but instead eat a meal with unclean hands? He responded, Well, did Isaiah prophesy about you hypocrites? As it is written, This people honors me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching as doctrines human precepts. You disregard God's commandment, but cling to human tradition. He went on to say, How well you have set aside the commandment of God, in order to uphold your tradition. For Moses said, Honor your father and your mother, and whoever curses father or mother shall die. Yet you say, If someone says to father or mother, Any support you might have had from me is Corban, meaning dedicated to God, you allow him to do nothing more for his father or mother. You nullify the word of God in favor of your tradition that you have handed on, and you do many such things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. As human beings, rituals are an integral part to our existence and provides rhythm, balance, and meaning to our experiences. However, like many if not all things in life, In excess, it can make our lives too mechanical and obsessive, leading to dehumanizing stress and myopic ways of experiencing life, the opposite intended purpose of ritual. Similar to Jesus' comment about the Sabbath in the Gospels, that is, Sabbath was made for human beings and not human beings for the Sabbath. As such, rituals are there in service to people and not the other way around. A good test to see if an observance is beneficial or not is whether or not we see it as something that makes us seem more valuable or more worthy than the person next to us. In other words, if it breeds a holier-than-thou attitude, then something is certainly amiss. This was true for the Pharisees who believed that because they observed the law scrupulously, dotted every I and crossed every T, that they were somehow better than those around them and fail to recognize that due to God's love and grace, which the law is solely based on, each human being possesses an innate quality that is neither superior or inferior to anyone else. So let us not make the same mistakes and not let our arrogance and misplaced sense of worth blind us from God's love and grace that is always unfolding around us. Thank you for listening to today's Gospel reading and reflection. Please be sure to tune in again tomorrow. Have a blessed and worthy day. If you enjoyed today's Gospel reading and reflection, please make sure that you subscribe wherever you're listening to podcasts. Also, if you know somebody who may find value in today's reading, please make sure that you share it with them. To learn more about how you can support the work that Mary Knoll does around the world, please visit us at maryknollsociety.org. And if you're interested in subscribing to our online magazine, please feel free to visit us at marinolmagazine.org. Thank you once again for spending your time with us today, and God bless.